Hey everyone, and welcome to the Boost Your Biology podcast. My name is Lucas, and I am the founder of Ergogenic Health. Together in this podcast series, we will go underground to explore cutting edge health and human performance insights that you simply cannot search on Google to help you upgrade your existence. So without any further ado, let's jump into today's episode. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Boost Your Biology podcast. Today, I'm in the studio with a fellow entrepreneur. Joining me in today is the CEO of the supplement company, Do Not Age. Alan, welcome to the show, mate. Thank you for having me, Lucas. Uh, It's a pleasure. Awesome. So maybe, Alan, did you want to share with my listeners a little bit about uh, your story and, and how you got involved in Do Not Age? Sure, sure. So because of a, a pretty um, interesting but not very healthy uh, lifestyle for uh, the vast majority of my life up until my late 20s, I, I felt the effects of aging a lot sooner than most people. Um, and I think when I was first introduced to the longevity field, um, the fact I didn't even know it existed. I didn't know that aging was malleable. And I don't think that the common man on the street does either. So that's one of the things we're trying to change. And once I found out about that, I, I figured, you know, that everybody should be working on this. Um, but but from a do not age.org perspective, essentially there was a, a huge disparity between the researchers and the consumers. So researchers wanted more flexibility to work on whatever they wanted to work on rather than having their, whoever was funding them dictate what they had to work on. Uh, And of course, they always need more funding as well. And then from a consumer perspective, the consumers needed a trusted source of both information and ingredients. So the answer to to both the, to solve both of those riddles is, is do not age.org. So we are the trusted source of information and ingredients for the consumer. And then from the profits we make from selling those goods, uh, we put that back into research and then obviously that then helps the researchers. Mm, yeah. And hats off to you guys. Cause you've done uh, an amazing job building such an incredible company with some really unique products. I mean, I've, recently had a look at some of the new formulas and some of the new, um, the stacks that you've developed, the cert six, uh, activator mm-hmm. and things like that. So maybe, maybe do you want to sort of outline or list, or I guess, describe some of the biggest struggles you're seeing people face in the health and longevity community? Well, I think because most people, the internet is, has a uh, good parts and bad parts, doesn't it? Um, there's a lot of misinformation online um, because a lot of people get their information from social media and YouTube can be classed as a social media as well. And then obviously you've got your Facebooks and Instagrams and all the other things. And the problem with those platforms is controversy is what gets you the views and the clicks and all that kind of stuff. So people are more inclined to write controversial statements and, put things that are a bit out there. Um, and so there's a lot of misinformation um, because of the way that's set up. So that, that is a struggle. Uh, and that's why we have an email address, hello at do not age.org. If anyone's got any questions, they can email us anytime. Uh, and the team there will get back to you. If they can't help, the frontline team can't help, then it goes back to the science team and, uh, and then they help from there. The other issue I see is access. So that's one of the reasons why we ship worldwide. So the mission for do not age.org is to extend healthy lifespan for as many people as possible. So most people see that mission and they'll look at the first bit, extend healthy lifespan. But the second bit is equally as important. It's for as many people as possible. This isn't just for billionaires, you know? Um, So we want to try, that's why we're trying to bring the prices down as much as we can. Um, And that's why we ship worldwide, even though it, it's, it's a hell of a pain sometimes, yeah. but you know, if, if you're going to have a mission, you got to stick to it. Right. So, you know, we take, we take that very seriously. Yeah. Yeah. No, I definitely res- respect that. As far as Alan, do maybe do you want to sort of explore, I guess the evolution of the product range. I'd love to learn a little bit more about what was the first, first product you released and maybe like talk about the evolution of the products. 
Yeah, sure. So the first product we released was, um, the, the, we actually called it the morning supplement. This was back in 2019. And it was a mixture of NMN and resveratrol. Now, this was before we knew what we know now. So obviously, we now know that you can't have, an, uh, you know, your NMN and resveratrol shouldn't be mixed together um, because NMN is taken with, you know, water or coffee or whatever it may be first thing in the morning. And your resveratrol is taken with a source of fat, uh, typically with the first meal of the day for most people. Um, so, yeah, but that was, our, that was our first ever product. That was the first one we launched. And then after that, I believe it was the berberine. The berberine is still extremely popular. Um, it's not an expensive product. And obviously, it has a huge impact. And it's one of those that you can see the impact very quickly. If you have a continuous glucose monitor, even if you're not somebody that uses it long term, if you just buy one to use for two weeks, you know, day one, have a meal at a certain time and check, check the readings. And then day two, say everything else the same, but just have some berberine before that meal. And you'll see that spike in blood glucose is usually about halved. So it's, mm. uh, yeah, it's definitely a fantastic product. And then like you say, it's evolved a lot since then. Obviously, since then we've conducted a lot of our own research and funded lots of others. We've got some novel ingredients now. We have a uh, short sleep, which is to help people that can't sleep. Um, we have sulfora boost, so the most potent sulforaphane boosting ingredient in the world. And of course, Cert6 activator, which you briefly mentioned earlier, and is, is, that's now our most popular ingredient by a long, long way. And, you know, the results speak for themselves, so it's obvious why. Awesome. And as far as like the team itself, like I'd imagine I've already scanned through the website. You've got a, a range of like professors and experts in the field of longevity, I guess, like overlooking the product development side of things, but like, um, yeah, what sort of, what sort of input do they have nowadays? Are they always like overlooking, looking to modify formulas and things like that? Yes, that's right. So we're, we're always looking at improvements and, and continual improvements. And we just use testing now because we've got you know, hundreds of thousands of members. So we can, we can quite easily get a, a good sample size and get some testing done and do blood work, et cetera, on those people. Uh, and then obviously that goes back to the, the scientific review board. We also they'll have great relationships with lots of scientists and professors that aren't officially on the board but maybe because of contracts with other companies and things like that they can't officially be involved but thankfully in this industry which particularly when it comes to the researchers the vast majority of them are more collaborative than competitive which is exactly what we want because we're all i see it as we're all fighting against aging rather than each other yeah and you briefly mentioned the um the cert six activator uh, maybe mm. educate my listeners a little bit about what was the primary objective of the formula itself and, and what role does it fulfill? So we worked closely with Professor Vera Gorbanova, who is our lead researcher on this. Um, some of your viewers might have seen her TED talk on hyaluronic acid and things like that. Uh, she's been working on sirtuins for many, many decades since I was back in school. Um, and yeah, if anybody doesn't know, sirtuins are proteins that do the repair work in the body. So. Obviously, as we age, our repair mechanisms become less and less effective over time. And essentially, that's what causes aging when we can no longer repair ourselves. Um, and the sirtuin that's most heavily uh, linked to uh, longer and healthier lives is sirtuin-6. There's seven of them in total. And sirtuin-6 seems to be the most important. So we wanted to look for a natural ingredient so that so there wouldn't be any you know, negatives or side effects like you might get with pharmaceuticals that um, was a really potent activator of sirtuin-6. And that's what I say we came up with. Professor Gorbanova did the heavy work. We just did the funding. Uh, but yeah, we worked together on that. Uh, and now we have, you know, the, the world's first and only at the moment verified activator of sirtuin-6, um, which is a novel ingredient. And we're extremely proud of it. And obviously we're seeing the huge results already from the impact from our uh, do not age dog members but i believe the big difference will be seen in 10 years time when you have a cohort of here's the people that are taking cert 6 activator here's the people that haven't been taking it that's when you'll see the real big difference because obviously aging is a relatively slow process um i want just to add, just to add to that as well we have actually got it in clinical trials so the results we saw in the mice were just so fantastic. Vera was very excited. And as a 
as a true and true researcher, she doesn't get excited very easily, but she was extremely excited and said, look, we've got to get this into humans ASAP. Um, and so we designed the study, which is um, going into cancer patients that have been through chemotherapy successfully. Uh, and then obviously the, 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 we're going to split the cohort into those taking cert 6 and those taking a placebo. And we believe what we're going to see is that the recurrence of tumors uh, doesn't happen in the group that are taking cert 6 activator. Obviously, that's going to take a few years to prove out, but we're very confident. And uh, yeah, it's an exciting time. That's awesome. Well, um, with the with cert 6 activator, um, I was just reading up a little bit about it before. It's, it's um specific strain of the seaweed is it the fucus fasciculosis or something yeah i mean your guess is as good as mine in terms of pronunciation but yes it's uh, fucus fasciculosis and the reason we it, it's very arduous to obtain so the reason we have to um send it to corpanova's lab and uh, to test each one is because if you get it, if you get a different batch, you can get it from the same place in the world every time. If, you, if it's a if it's a new harvest, then it may not activate it to at six. The vast majority of them don't have an impact. Um, there are some there are some strains that actually inhibit so two and six. Um, and these are on, on an ingredients label. These would all be called fucus fasciculosis. So you can see why we had to make it a novel ingredient. Um, and then obviously sometimes you do get the potent one uh, and, and we have to go all around the world and get lots of different harvests. So it's extremely difficult. The current harvest I believe is from off the coast of Japan. It's awesome, man. Well, um, the whole, the whole realm of, uh, there's actually like a publication category that I've been obsessed with for a number of years. It's actually titled, um, marine drugs. And they're looking at like different seaweeds and stuff and, there is one seaweed that I've spoken about quite a lot. It's uh, it's called Eclonia carva. It's like a brown algae seaweed that has a ton of really good mm. health benefits. But I think, yeah, definitely all the doctors that I've seen over the years, like I've, I've been to a bunch of different like traditional Chinese medicine doctors and Ayurvedic practitioners. And a lot of them all speak very highly of like incorporating some amount of like seaweed into your diet because they, they know about a lot of the benefits beyond just the iodine content. I think um, seaweeds are often a neglected like food group, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. And I think a lot of the longer lives that we see in places like Japan, you know, a lot of that has to do with diet, doesn't it? So, mm. Awesome. So the Cert 6 activator you said was like, yeah, one of your, one of your most um, – well, I guess like at the moment, would you say it's like the – most popular product out of your entire range? Right, by a very long way, yes. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So I guess maybe, Alan, like as an entrepreneur, obviously it's, you've worked mm -hmm. your butt off and um, I can relate to you there, like as, as far as like trying to outsource, build a team, you know, develop all this, the content and all that sort of stuff. Maybe switching gears a little bit because we do have a few like other young entrepreneurs that listen into the podcast and, there's other people that run their own business, health coaches. What sort of advice can you give to them, like fellow aspiring entrepreneurs? Like what can you maybe share with them that you've learned over the years? That's interesting. I don't, I don't normally get asked those kind of questions. It's normally purely health-based. Um, I would say start sooner. The only regret I have is not starting sooner because you, you kind of have a, a maybe it's an, an ingrained fear just just start sooner, you know, fail faster, as they say. Um, increase your network so you can't do it all on your own. You know, essentially, my role with Do Not Age was just pulling all the smart people together, you know. Um, and and then the, the overriding thing that I always try and do is look for large issues that affect humanity and try to solve them and think of a way to solve them. Um, uh, if you put that first, obviously the money's important, but if you put that first, then you, I believe you have more of a chance of success. Yeah, awesome. And did you personally have like a, someone that you looked up to over the years at all? I think there's lots of people you look up to. I mean, one of the good examples is uh, Richard Branson with what he's done. And then obviously now it's crazy how it's come full circle. Um, you know, he's now taking do not age org. Um, products and uh, yeah, we're looking to we're looking to do a venture together as well. So it's yeah, 
these kind of things like three years ago, I just wouldn't have been in my wildest dreams. That's awesome. As far as like, I guess like maybe Alan, do you want to share a bit about like the feedback that you've been given? Obviously this is like anecdotal evidence as like, as far mm. as what the customers have noticed with some of the, the products, but like uh, maybe uh, I'd imagine you get some emails of people sharing pretty outstanding yeah. stories. Do you want to share some of those. Sure. And I think that's the, that's the one biggest thing I miss now. I'm not, you know, in the weeds um, and don't deal with that side of thing anymore. And I think even though you can look at numbers on a spreadsheet and go, we've helped 250,000 people and it's great, but it's just a number. Um, mm. For me, what really hits home the most is those individual emails, the couple that stick out. There's one, um, a guy's daughter was having um, seizures and I'll just clarify as well. We're not claiming any, uh, you know, that we're going to be fixing any problems. And also our ingredients are intended for adults, but this person chose to give the do not age NMN to his daughter who was having lots of seizures. Um, and they pretty much stopped. She was having several every day. And obviously after the seizure, she then can't go through her education and it messes up the rest of her day and her sleep. Um, and now she's able to live a normal life. Um, things like that, you know, it brings a tear to your eye. There was another guy, he said, talked about his dad who hadn't been able to walk for uh, several years, like not literally not left the, the couch or the sofa. Um, and then he said, look, he's now walking around the lounge area. And then, you know, in a couple of weeks, we're hoping he's going to go outside and walk around the block. And it just, you know, you're, you're in the middle of your busy day and you're, you're, you're hustling and you're, you're trying to get things done and you're speaking to researchers and you're trying to help consumers and all this kind of stuff. And then you get an email like that and it's just like, this is what it's all about. You know, this is, this is why you're doing what you're doing. Um, so yeah, there's, and there's thousands and thousands just like that. So that's, uh, yeah, like I said, that's the biggest thing that I miss about not dealing directly with the, uh, the email inbox these days. Yeah. I, I can definitely relate to that. Like, cause I'm so buried in and amongst like content creation or like managing staff and things like that. Sometimes I, cause I'm so wrapped up in the business that I just forget what the entire purpose of what I'm building is. Like yes. you just lose, you just lose track. Of, but you know, I, I also get the same similar. I get like Instagram DM sometimes of people saying like how my content has changed their life, saved their life. Um, and that like that little moment of like, when, when I read that message, it's just, it just sparks you up. Doesn't it? There's, there's nothing like it. And I, like I said, I don't think it'll ever be replaced. Uh, we, we still have our targets of helping a billion people and all these kind of things, which is what we, we will make sure we hit that. Um, but yeah, nothing replaces the individual story because it, you, it, you connect with it on a more human level. Hmm. And what about, I guess, like, um, it was about a month ago when there was a bit of a scare with the NMN banning situation. Did you guys, were you guys like, for seeing that or like how did you guys respond to that yeah so thankfully because of our links um like i say because we're so heavily involved with researchers um who shall remain nameless um we knew yeah we were ahead of the game with that we were very disappointed to see how sort of like a traditional supplement stellas reacted um very disappointed there was lots that used it as a kind of and a man's not going to be available by now, by now. And like putting pressure on people, particularly because it was like two weeks before black Friday, which is when a lot of people that don't have the money can afford to, to make the purchases. Um, so yeah, that was a bit disappointing, but yeah, we're certainly not concerned. Um, you know, and a man's hundred percent natural is in every cell of your body. So I don't think it's going to be classed as a drug anytime soon. Yeah. And as far as like, with NMN specifically, um, I remember reading some research around it affecting the circadian rhythm. And I think um, David Sinclair has spoken about how it can resynchronize the circadian rhythm after like jet lag, um, things like that. So you guys recommend NMN first thing in the morning fasted. Is that generally what you suggest to customers? Yes, definitely. It's, it's the best way to take it. And when I say first thing in the morning, I mean, First thing in the morning, like as soon as you wake up, that's when we've seen the best results. That's when I take it. But 
again, I, it's unfortunately I'm uh, doing a little bit of do as I say, not as I do at the moment, because I'm moving countries every three or four days. Um, you know, just landed in Morocco. Um, and the way it's very difficult with my circadian rhythm at the moment, but the way that I tend to do it is I'll find my wake up time, which is usually sort of seven, seven thirty AM in the place that I'm going to and take the NMN at that time the day before, just to sort of get my body in sync. But when you're moving time zones every three or four days, it's yeah, it's not not really very healthy. But there's a you know, there's a bigger goal at play here, isn't there? So, you know, people are dying every day from aging and if I need to put myself on the line to uh, bring that end that sooner, then that's that's exactly what I'll do. Mm. With um, like I'd imagine, uh, there's there's so many videos on YouTube of people running, like NMN experiments. Like I took NMN for thirty days, and like here's what happened. I mean, from the literature, we've seen some pretty outstanding benefits uh, as far as like improvements in chole- uh, cholesterol markers, fasting insulin, blood sugar, maybe yep. blood pressure. Um, is the team, I'm curious to know, I know you said there's, they're looking at a study on, um, the, uh, was it the CERT-6 activator in cancer? Uh, yep. cancer patient? I'm curious to know what else is in the pipeline. Were there other clinical studies you were, you were interested in running before that one at all? Yeah, so there's there's a lot, lots of things ongoing at the moment. Um, what the ones I can tell you about. Uh, we are funding a few NMN trials, but they're not, we're not doing it ourselves we're providing the materials um so obviously we can't we're not at liberty to discuss those because they're from a different uh, lab but obviously once the results are out then we can i mean the, the best way to get the most up-to-date information is to make sure you're on our email list um if anyone wants to sign up it's at do not i've not been on the website for a while so i don't know where it is but i'm sure there'll be somewhere you can put your email address in um but yeah so th- there's lots of exciting things coming up for example, I can give you an exclusive here. Uh, first time we've said it publicly, we're launching in January of 2023 um, a new ingredient called urolithin A. So there will be trials to go hand in hand with that as well. So yeah, uh, our members are going to be super excited. Yes, and I'm, I'm excited for that because I, I know a lot of my audience has been busting and telling, asking me to create video content on that and talk about the benefits of... Um, Urolithin A, and it's actually, interestingly, one of the reasons why in the last like two weeks I've been smashing heaps of pomegranate juice because um, urolithin A is from, or can be derived from pomegranate, right? That's correct. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, exciting because I think at the moment there's only one other, uh, is it Mito Pure? Mito Pure? Yeah, exactly. And, um, you know, the good news for people that are taking that product is that we, you know, obviously we, we need to know what's happening in the market. So we buy it, we test it. It's very good stuff. So the way that when we're creating a new ingredient, once we've realized to make sure the ingredient actually works, it then goes to, can we increase the quality of what's available on the market? And if not, can we at least reduce the cost? And when something's the highest quality can be, which, there already is on the market to be fair to them. Um, all we can do is replicate that purity and then make sure the cost is uh, more cost effective so that people, uh, it's more accessible to more people in line with our mission. The, uh, I, I do, I do recall it is, it's not a cheap ingredient from, from memory as, as far as like the manufacturing side, I'd imagine it's quite challenging to synthesize. Is it like a difficult, well, put it this way, we wanted to launch it in July, so and we're not going to launch it until January. So, yeah, yeah. it is challenging. But challenging does, is not impossible, so. Yeah, well, um, I mean, I'm always, I'm always on the hunt for new ingredients and discovering new ingredients and things like that. And, yeah, Eurolithin A popped up quite a lot, but, um, mm. yeah, the whole, the whole, like novel ingredient side of things and discovering new things and formulating like that really does excite me because I feel like we're, we're literally just skipping the surface. Like we've, we've discovered compounds like terrastilbene, you know, that's the, what you mentioned, the fucus vesiculosis, the seaweed. Mm. Now we've got the urolithin A, um, but like 
there'd be so many more compounds out there, like just heaps, you know. And we're testing dozens and dozens of them at any one time. So, um, but it's it's a long process from idea to um, you know product being available on the market because there's so many it's so rigorous what it has to go through we have to make sure that it actually works to get the testing done um, then it's about sourcing then it's about pricing and you know so it's yeah it takes a long long time yeah yeah the the feasibility is like you've got the you've got your dream outcome and then the then then like what actually can happen is a, is a very different story with um with some of the products i guess alan maybe are there certain like um, products that you offer that really stack well together like that you've noticed like or customers have, have said this one plus this one works really well yes for sure um i mean first of all i would say that everything that we provide is intended to be used in the same protocol so when we're doing the testing we we use people that are taking all of our other ingredients as well to make sure that you know no contraindications etc um so that's the one thing i would say but there's a few obvious ones you've got resveratrol and quercetin they go very well together um quercetin increases the effectiveness basically of resveratrol by around 50 percent um there's NMN and TMG. Obviously, the TMG is donating the methyl groups, which helps turn more NMN into NAD. Um, yeah, so there's lots of them that do pair well together, but none of them are contraindicated, which is the main thing. Yeah, awesome. And it's good to see, I mean, you guys, some of the, it's good to see that you guys are offering like basic ingredients as well. Like, like I, I call them basic because they're like ubiquitous. Like you can get them anyway, yeah. but it's, it's good that you offer, I'd imagine, very high quality forms of like the quercetin, the TMG, you know, mm-hmm. things like that. Exactly. That, that's what I mean. So it, it's about, sometimes it's about enabling the consumer to get everything from one place. So, for example, we have a vitamin D, vitamin K, and magnesium blended ingredient. Now, you can get all of those things individually in decent quality if you look hard enough. Um, but in order to get them in the right dosages in one easy capsule. That's why we created the blended product. And that's actually ex- one of our very popular products as well, probably because it's extremely low price and because it makes it so much easier for people. Mm. Awesome. As far as like, so the, I guess like the f- curious to know a little bit more about like the, the future of Do Not Age, obviously you want to expand and have as much reach as possible, help as many people. You've got clinical trials underway. You're interested in product develop, like product development. Um, what else is on the horizon? Like, do you have another? Is there like maybe a another little thing that 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 really sparks you up? Things like that. So the initial thing that I, I wanted to do, and I've unfortunately not seen it yet, but I want to see genuine copycats. <laughs> so I don't mean the copycats like we have now, which is like people that. Are, mostly just interested in money and they might cop, try and copy our product line. But I mean, actual health research organizations that are set up the way we're set up, putting people before profit. I think that's going to be the future. I just don't know how long it's going to take. I was hoping we'd have already seen some by now, um, but we haven't. Um, so yeah, that's that's one of the things I want to do. And all we're doing is trying to be the sort of beacon and be the, here's how, here's how these kind of organizations should act, doing the right thing. Um, and then in terms of do not age, we will continue to be at the forefront of the research and always be the first to deliver the best ingredients and testing kits to our members. And like you say, it's about trying to get that message out there as much as possible. You know, we don't have a marketing budget, as, you, as you're probably aware. Um, we rely on people like yourself to talk to people about what we're doing. We rely on our members to talk to their friends and family, which is usually quite easy because they're having uh, such good results that they're, you know, sometimes somebody might say, oh, you're looking well, what have you changed? And they'll, then they go into that conversation about do not age.org. So yes, uh, thank you very much for um, allowing us the platform to talk about do not age. Yeah, well, I mean, one of the reasons why you're here is because I, I really, you know, respect your vision and, um, you know, what you've developed also inspires me. Maybe I'm going to be that that copycat guy. <laughs> yes, no, please, please do. I absolutely welcome it. Absolutely welcome it. Yeah, awesome. So I guess like as far as like some of the other 
so we've gone through like a range of, a range of products, um, what people have noticed and the benefits they've seen. Um, how do you think as far as like response and you may have noticed like some, some people are saying they, um, like, like non responders, for example, I know it's a very small percentage of the population and I've seen this as well with some of the times when I prescribe NMN to, to clients, things like that. Um, what have you noticed maybe like some other modalities, therapies, lifestyle strategies that you say should people really need to consider these other facets when they're trying to optimize their health? Yeah. So I, I think from the experience that we've got, if, if there are those few people that are non-responders, sometimes it's just about dosage. So obviously we have the NAD testing kits, which allows people to test their NAD levels and see here's where I was on one gram of NMN a day. Uh, here's where I am on two grams of NMN a day, et cetera. Um, but also there are some people that just haven't, not even fully optimized, just haven't even considered anything else, like the, the, the basics that we would hope we wouldn't have to go over too much. Things like making sure you're moving your body every day, some kind of exercise, um, preferably resistance training, um, sleep, making sure, I mean, again, do as I say, not as I do, because I'm always traveling around, but sleep is extremely important and having a sleep routine is also extremely important. Um, uh, when you're eating, giving your body that time to rest from the digestion phase, you know? So yes, what you eat is important. Don't eat McDonald's every day, but when you eat, as we know now is, is also probably more important. So yeah, that's, that's the, uh, and that's the other small percent. I mean, thankfully we don't get much of that, but oftentimes we'll then dive in. One of the specialists will give someone a call and they'll just be like, Oh yeah, I'm drinking 10 pints every night. And I'm, you know, I eat fast food only, but then I took your products and I was like, well, you know, <laughs> you give, give us a, uh, give us a chance here, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But so I'm kind of like, I, and I actually saw this quite a lot at university when I was studying is like a lot of the other students that I was studying with, they would like, they would acquire the knowledge to like anti-age, right? Like, or just mm. make their body healthier to offset the way that they treat themselves like on the weekend, for example. For example. Yeah. Yeah. Which, and look, it's, it's all personal choice, but obviously you're going to get the best results if you optimize all the way around. Yeah, absolutely. I think complementary, yeah, lifestyle strategies, optimizing sleep, you know, nutrition, all the, the core pillars of health, like, you're going to get the best bang for buck when you're optimizing all areas, not just like supplementation. Um, but uh, having said that, I do see a number of people who, who also like they blindly take a lot of supplements without actually understanding like why they're yeah. using. <laughs> and this goes back to the misinformation online thing I was talking about, you know, that's why I get why we then have that email and why we give out the information freely because you know, people would read one website and then another website and then they'll say, oh, I read that this makes you grow a new limb and I read that this makes you live forever and all this kind of stuff. And you're like, well, here's the facts. And then, of course, the easy way to do it is just to look at our product list and you'll see what works because we've tested all those things to make sure they work before they get there. Um, and that's why we don't have 5,000 SKUs because, you know, there are some things that might have a small impact on your health, but we only want to, we only want to provide the things that are actually going to really move the needle. Mm. How many? I think the sun's rising behind me. So if I'm if I'm going out of focus, I apologize. Uh, we're both we're both dodging the sun because your sun's coming out. My one's my sun's going down. Yeah, I've just going down. <laughs> Do we have the same sun? Well, it's a bit of a <laughs> party there. Um, that's awesome, man. Well, as far as like. So we sort of touched on a range of, you know, different products that you offer, um, dosing, things like that, timing, um, the future. I'm really excited to see the results from those the clinical trials. Like that's probably, I guess you guys are also very excited about that. Extremely. Um, so that, that'll be, that'll be great to, to learn more about that. Um, so I guess that's that's pretty much it from my end. I mean, we've sort of covered. Was there any other any other areas like you maybe wanted to share about the company? Um, maybe the the products themselves, how people can, yeah. 
No, I think I think most of the information is there on the website, and, and it, most people that have individual questions just you know use the contact form or use the email address. Feel free to ask. It's you know doesn't cost anything, and the teams that are more than happy to help. What one of the other reasons why we do it isn't just because of the misinformation. It's because we we were all new to this at some point, and I just, I, re, I remember when I was thinking I wish I had somewhere to go and ask my questions. Yeah. And there, there wasn't anybody that well, that didn't want something from you first. Um, mm. So that's why we offer that's why we offer that service. Um, yeah. So if people want to head over to donotage.org, we are happy to help. Awesome. I'll make sure to leave that linked in the show notes. And also, um, I've got some. I've got some content pieces coming up on some of your products as well, which I can't wait for you guys yeah. to check out. So you guys can share that around um, the Cert6 activator, um, the calcium, uh, calcium alpha ketoglutarate, AKG. Yep. Um, yeah, that, that'll be, that'll be exciting. And, and once you guys get the, you know, with, with the new research, the clinical trial that you've, that you're take, I mean, that you're organizing at the moment. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll try and, share that to my audience and my listeners um as soon as possible so yeah man well it was awesome awesome chatting uh, it was a long time long time in the making um we'll we'll definitely be yeah, in touch I am, I am sorry about that the the diary is just crazy at the moment so my my apologies no that's that's fine and if you if you have any plans to, to come to australia yeah do let me know because you're more than welcome to hang out with I me sure because- <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun well, thank you for having me, Lucas. Awesome, Alan. Good, good chatting. We'll uh, we'll touch base soon. Cheers. Take care. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for joining in to today's episode. For in-depth show notes and lessons learned, visit nofilter.media forward slash boost your biology. This has been a No Filter Media production. Say what you want.